Hey everyone, Mike here, and as I'm sure you've seen from the title of the video, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, there are two main reasons I'm uh, doing this video. The first is, for not the first time, I have planned to start a series of videos on my channel and then just stopped. And I uh, wanted to give a bit of an explanation for that. But also, something I just want to kind of get off my chest, get a chance to really talk about it, can, can help, you know, feel better to just get it out uh, there. Now, one thing I want to be very clear on right up front. I am well aware that... I am not in as bad a position as far as anxiety that I know other people are. I don't have, you know, these crippling panic attacks that I know some people with an anxiety do. Uh, I've actually only had two cases in my life that I can recall where I have uh, just broken down completely. I have what's known as high-functioning anxiety where I, ha I deal with a lot of the issues that come with anxiety, but I'm a little more able to maintain myself than uh, some people are. Um, yeah, admittedly, this is going to be all over the place. I didn't script this. I'm just, you know, as it, as it comes out of me, that's pretty much how it's going to work. Um, I think... If nothing else, the biggest struggle I have with it is a, a please everybody type mentality. I want people to like me. I want people to get along with each other. I don't handle conflict. I like to get along with people. And when I don't, it doesn't go well. <laughs> um, a good example when I used to work customer service, a customer would come to me, something wouldn't go right. It'd be a simple fix, but my mind would blank. The, the customer would be getting mad, and that just makes me blank out because I don't handle it well. I get flustered. I get completely lost. And even if it's a really simple solution, I'm not going to think of it. I'm just going to sit there unsure what to do, and then the customer gets more angry, and I just get more flustered, and it just gets worse and worse. And um, uh, going along with my videos, another good example of this is I'll do a video, I'll get, let's just say, 10 likes on the video. I'll get one dislike. That is what I'll focus on. Because despite the fact that a lot of people clearly liked it, that one person that didn't is what bothers me. And it shouldn't, because it's stupid. There's no reason for that one to bother me. But just because I have that, that mentality that I just want everyone to like me and I want to get along with everyone, that when something is a negative, that's what I focus on. Which I shouldn't. And it goes right on along the lines of people saying, well, well, just don't. Don't focus on that one. It's, it's not that easy. That's like taking someone who has depression and just say, oh, just get over it. It doesn't work that way. And it's the same with anxiety. You can't just not feel that way. Um, I remember, actually, uh, I made the mistake of getting a job at a call center. And the reason this was a mistake, because the entire job is taking complaint calls. And obviously for somebody who doesn't handle conflict well, this was just not a good job for me. I, mean, I lasted about three months at the job, and that wasn't even just three months of taking calls. That included, you know, period of training and all that stuff. And I remember just one day... I came into work, hadn't even punched in, 
nothing had happened. And the next thing I knew, I'm in my manager's office in tears because I just can't stand the idea of having to get on those phones again. And and that's a lot of what anxiety is. It's not even... It is, sometimes it's about, you know, things you're dealing with right then. Sometimes it's just the the thought of what you're you're going to be dealing with that can cause the problem. And like I said, nothing had happened. But I was just distraught at even the thought of getting on those phones again. And that was when I officially turned in. And I did give my two weeks notice. I didn't just quit because I tried to be a professional but those last two weeks, I was just counting down. Every time I got on those phones, just thinking to myself, it's almost over. You're almost done with it. You're not going to have to deal with it anymore. Because I, d I don't handle conflict. Even if, if I think I'm right about something, I can't argue it. Um, and this has happened to me a lot, both in uh, like comment sections on videos or even... Uh, having discussions with people about things. Even if I feel I have a good point to give, I can't give it because I don't handle conflict. I just, I get so worried about what's going to happen if I continue trying to talk. You know, what are they going to say? What are they going to do? Am I going to say something wrong? Th and this is a lot of what anxiety is. It's a worrying about what's going to happen if this happens. And, and, and of course, focusing on things that happened, uh, you know, years ago, like, um, uh, give another example. I told you this was going to be all over the place, but um, another example is um, I once said something jokingly to someone. They didn't realize I was joking and they got very upset. And I apologized and they accepted the apology, and all was good. At this point, they probably don't even remember that it happened. But every once in a while, out of the blue, it will pop back into my head, and I will feel bad for hurting their feelings. Even though it was years ago, they've moved on, they don't even care. But it will get back into my head, and it'll continue to bother me. And there are so many examples of this, of things that have happened in the past, that, you know, I'm the only one that even thinks about them. But it'll it'll just stick there and bother me so much. I know when it comes to uh, friends and relationships, I worry about um, talking to people or making friends because I'm always worried that I'm going to say something wrong or I'm going to annoy them. And that's one of the big things, is I'm always worried that I'm going to annoy someone. I remember um, I was at BronyCon a couple of years ago. And I'm there with a friend of mine and another person. We're all just kind of having a conversation between the three of us. But after a few moments, well, after a few minutes of the conversation, I just stopped talking. And it's because there have been no indication of it, but I started feeling like that third person was getting annoyed by me. Like I was bothering them. And again, they gave no indication of this. And they probably today don't even know that, I, that it even happened. But I got into my own head and convinced myself that I was bothering them and that I needed to just shut up and leave them be. Despite the fact that there was no reason for me to think that. And that actually brings me to the first point, the uh, videos. Now, um, uh, last week I had planned on starting a series where I would do live streams of um, studying Japanese. And just kind of work on my studies while on a live stream. And um, things out of my control hindered one video because uh, the uh, my internet got 
cut, and by the time I got it back up, it was several hours after the point I was supposed to do the stream. So I just, you know, figured, okay, I'm going to just forget that one as a wash. There's nothing I could do. I lost my, my internet. The next day, I was supposed to do one of my Japanese language ones, and I ended up canceling it and it just stopped doing them. And the reason for this was because the last time I did one, I started getting the feeling that I was boring. That, you know, this this isn't interesting. It's just me sitting here working on stuff out of a book and all that. I'm not doing anything to make it interesting. Nobody wants to watch this. You, you just stop doing it. Now, there, again, there have been no indication of this. The first time I had done one, I actually got a lot of positive feedback. I had a number of people watch. Uh, they gave me good uh, comments. They seemed to enjoy it. Uh, the second time I did it, it was it was not a really good uh, time frame for the live stream, so I didn't have as many uh, viewers. But regardless, I I just got into my own head, convincing myself that nobody wants to watch this, so I just stopped. And I've done this with other things where I've I've done like update videos in the past and said I'm actually planning on doing this and this and this on my channel, and then I never do it mostly because I convince myself they don't want to watch that. You just don't don't do that, Mike. That's stupid. Nobody wants to see that. And that just that ends up happening. A lot of times I specifically will will try to do things that I'm seeing a lot of views for. Which in some ways, you know, it's good. If it gets a lot of views, it means people like it, so do more of that. But if something doesn't get a lot of views, even if it's something I enjoy doing, I find myself not wanting to do it because I'm convinced myself that you know, nobody likes that. You're the only one interested in that. You're just bothering people by making a video about that. And again, there's no in real indication of that. Just because it doesn't get as many views does not mean the people that are viewing it don't like it or that I'm bothering anybody by not doing another type of video. At the end of the day, a lot of it is just in it's just my own head. And that's, again, that's what anxiety is all about. I mean, you, you convince yourself that people aren't going to like you. You are just desperate to get along with people, desperate to, to please people. And you worry so much about the results of things, even if it's not even an issue. Uh, it's one of the reasons I'm glad, actually, of my current job. I don't interact with uh, customers very often because I'm not good at it. I mean, you you put me in front of a camera and just let me go to do, like, a reaction video or a song or something, I'm fine. You put me on a stage, let me perform a song or be in a show, I'm good. But you put me in with people and I get... I get in bad shape. And unfortunately, this has also led to people thinking that I'm being standoffish or unfriendly. And that's not the case. I just get so caught in my own head that I'm going to say something stupid that it makes me not talk. I know I was in a show uh, last year. Afterwards, we were out greeting the audience. And this one person came up to me. And they, they were very shy as well. They're looking at me, I'm looking at them, neither of us say anything for like 15, 20 seconds. And then finally they said something. And all I'm sitting there thinking the whole time is, I, I should say something. I can tell this is awkward for both of us. I should say something. I don't know what to say. What do I do? And again, just getting into my own head. It's, it's not, it's not fun, obviously. It's not an easy thing. Like I said, I know that I do not have it as bad as other people do. I know of other people who are who just get so caught up in anxiety that they can't even function. So I'm well aware that I'm not in as bad a shape as others. But I've always felt that just because somebody doesn't have a condition that's as bad as somebody else's condition does not mean they don't have that condition. Just because I have high functioning anxiety doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't matter. It's still a difficult thing that I have to deal with and that I know a lot of people have to deal with. 
Um, again, I didn't have a huge point in doing this other than explaining why the Japanese live streams stopped and just getting a chance to get it out there and to really talk about it, even though, like I said, I was all over the place because I'm not good at this. But um, I definitely appreciate uh, anyone who took the time to watch this video. It um, was good to get it out there and to just be able to talk about it. Um, anyone watching this that has that also uh, deals with um, anxiety, whether high functioning, uh, the, a stronger uh, situation, you know, you want to share your stories down in the comments or anything like that, I, I welcome it. Um, I may not necessarily have anything I can, you know, respond with. Yeah, again, I'm not going to be overly helpful, <laughs> I'm sure. But again, sometimes it's nice to just get it out there. All right, I'm going to end it there. So until next time.